welcome back to Caravan Chit Chat. Thanks for coming back to this video if you watched the first video of our trip away. Now, today is a very, very sad day. Very sad day. It's the last day of our trip in the Bailey Alicanto Grande Porto. <laughs> What do you point every time? I don't know, it's just like Porto. Porto. It's just like, mm, Porto, yeah, mm, Porto, Porto. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's the last day of our trip. Um, we've got to return back to Ipswich tomorrow. And sadly, the caravan gets picked up on Monday. Although, I may just take it to an undisclosed location. So they don't know where it is and can't take it back from us. So, <laughs> so yeah, we've been in this caravan now, lived in this caravan for pretty much a week. Um, and I think now we're pretty well educated on the good and bad of the caravan. Yes. So I think it's highly justified that we can uh, do a review of the caravan. Um, we're not going to go in depth, we're not going to show you in and out of every single cupboard and things like that. We're just going to have a little chat, a little chit chat about um, the things we love and, you know, maybe annoyances about the caravan. So, but yeah, the the, the basics of it is we absolutely love this caravan. We don't do, we? yeah. It is just <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, like straight away we just felt at home in it it just yeah. really does feel so homely doesn't yeah, it? yeah it did it just suited us so much and just like all the extra things they've thought about you know you know putting a cupboard there or something there or a little shelf there or you know yeah just everything just seems so well thought out yeah um, I will drop it. Sorry, I will drop in some little pictures and some clips of the things we're talking about, so you'll see that yeah. appear. <laughs> um, so, um, what I love is there's an additional small um, slim cupboard next to the fridge before you get to the bathroom, which you can hang your coats up, um, and that is something that we've always had a bit of a gripe with. Uh, there's not really anywhere to put your coats, and that we just love yeah um it's, there's basically three sort of wardrobes in this caravan yeah, in there including the wardrobes either side of the bed yeah there's that that other one which is really well thought out for for coats and shoes yeah um you know just silly things like that really um i like like even the little things i thought about like the little shelf by the door mm -hmm. um that's illuminated so it's really handy like at night great to put like dog leads in and stuff like that and that for that last um taking the dogs out for a, for a wee before bed mm -hmm. so nice that you can just click the light on you can see what you're looking for if it's dark mm -hmm. it's just th little things like that um you know i really love and uh, to be honest the biggest attraction i think for me in this caravan is the lounge mm -hmm. because i didn't really I don't think we've even really been in many eight foot wide caravans, have we? No. To look in. A handful to actually sit in or look in yeah. properly. Um, yeah. But it's just like this is like like the the, the seats. I mean, they're they're so comfortable. They're all, they're obviously sprung or or whatever, which are unicornism, which does um, frustrate when our when my fat ass is on there for um, you know for more than like an hour you do start to sort of feel the wood underneath uh, but in this you don't and because it's eight foot wide they curve into the lockers so you get that extra little bit of uh, extra little bit of seat sort of that curves inwards to the lockers and the little headrests in the corners i mean a couple of times this week i've had a little afternoon siesta um, with my head against that headrest just snoozing away yeah, I've got video evidence of that if you want to put that in the vlog. We're not, we're not putting that in. <laughs> not putting that in. George Graham. I'm kind of thinking David O'Leary now, but he might have been more recent than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and it's, it was just, it's just so comfortable. And even just, like, because they've got this extra little bit here <laughs> that goes next to the, the kitchen unit, even just, just sitting normally like upright like facing that side is really comfortable 
And I find that with caravan designers, a lot of the time they, they think that everyone sits up, bolt upright, sideways on a seat like this. They don't, they seem to forget that people lounge in caravans, they like to lounge in them. This is just, yeah, so comfortable, so, so comfortable. And the width of the gangway between the seats, you know, it's, it just makes it feel so much more spacious. The lighting is another thing I love. The lighting, I love the fact that they've got the the lights that are behind this bit here. And at first I thought it might be too bright, but actually because you've got this bit of trim here, when you're sat in the seat at night, it's just perfect. It just just provides enough light. It's like a uh, down light. It's yeah. Like in your eyes, not a direct light. Yeah. And that, if you know, that mix with the the coloured lights that we've we've uh, posted on our social media. Um, oh, don't know why the camera's not following me anymore. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, 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 just the the light, the, the multicoloured lighting is actually. I know it's not to everyone's cut. It's not to everyone's taste, but. I think it's a really nice touch and and I think that if you turn the brightness down a little bit you get it on a nice light blue or something like that it does it's really yeah it's really relaxing and it's not all in your face because it, it doesn't light the whole caravan up with that color blue it's, it's low level so it just creates a nice sort of ambience you know um, yeah and another thing I love well, we've said about the kitchen in a in a Facebook post and how much like how spacious the kitchen is. So uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that. But one of the things I with this layout with the end bedroom, the middle bathroom, I've I've never particularly been a fan of that layout, and it's the reason why we got our caravan with the two single beds, um, and that's because I don't like the idea of you've got a whole big caravan but you have to shut the door to the bathroom. I believe it's the Swift you have to do that because the door opens into the into the kitchen. So you have to basically keep that bathroom door shut all the time. So you've got a big spacious caravan that actually just feels like a lounge in the kitchen all the time. Whereas with this, because the bathroom door shuts that way and it shuts off the toilet, you can. it's, it's actually best to keep that shut all the time and it still creates the nice openness feel of the caravan. Um, so that's been a really nice thing, I think. Mm -hmm. I've really liked that. Um, yeah, I like the kitchen. I think um, I love the L-shaped bit purely because this bit that comes out, um, and you'll be able to show them, uh, that you can have someone stand sort of at the end or this side and you can be working or prepping something and then someone else could be that side at the oven or the sink yeah. and traditionally you would only be able to really get one person in a kitchen space whereas with this one because you can come around this side you can actually have two people doing stuff um, and just the usability of that is um, <coughs> is a real plus yeah so basically when Vicky's like cooking or something I can still get to the fridge and get a bottle of beer and come around here and open said bottle of beer no that wasn't exactly what I meant but or, yeah. or I can still <laughs> pour you a nice gin <laughs> okay yeah uh, which you he know? hasn't done so, <laughs> since yeah, the day but, we got it but it's you know hypothetically I could <laughs> okay, yeah. you know um, yeah so it, it, is, it is a really yeah. nice kitchen and you know there is a lot of storage um, tons of storage and drawers and the workspace because there's obviously the flush um, sink cover and the oven top cover that you know it does give you masses of, of space yeah which we love and lots of light as well it's really nice <laughs> and light um, what else the bedroom now again i've i sort of love what well, i thought i loved our our bedroom in our bedroom our beds in our unicorn cadiz the two single beds now it is quite sad and we have had a few people say well you're you know fairly young we are young um and you know that we're married why do we want two single beds and we the, the only reason we really done that is because for each of you in each bed you you tend to get more space the beds are longer you get more of a bed it's not rounded off at the bottom um so that's the only reason why we done it um it worked fairly well in the motorhome that layout um so we decided to go with that for the for the caravan um and it does work and it creates a nice open feel but obviously it is 
not always that nice like not sharing a bed with mm. with your partner you know and it's uh you're sort of quite a reach away you know and it's um yeah i don't know it's we just have actually it's been a bit of a game changer sort of this week because the bed is that king size bed you know it's no different to our bed at home yeah um we have actually liked being back in the same bed i, I just can't yeah I, and i can't get my head around the fact that not lengthwise it's shorter than our bed at home but yeah. widthwise mm -hmm. it's as wide as our bed at home i mean it's like it's bonkers yeah. you know like the first night we got in there i was like i just have not get over the space yeah because i had memories of our swift caravan that we had that was like it's quite small tiny little bed mm -hmm. you know horrible like lumpy old mattress <laughs> and I, I i the first night getting in this and i was like my god like i have to almost reach to get to vicky you know and like the mattress I don't know, I can't remember what mattress is in there. This is, you know, I should have the detail, really, shouldn't I? But the mattress is so comfortable. Doesn't need any topper on it, in my opinion. Like, literally, no, the most comfortable mattress I've slept on. And every night, I've had such a good night's sleep and just not wanted to get out of bed. Um, you know, and, and it's just, yeah, it's just really, really comfortable, isn't it? Every... The only thing you have struggled with is the length of it. It's a little bit... Short. It's a little bit short, so you're, yeah. So my my feet do <coughs> hang over the edge, and actually they um they they touch the the curved wall like the end of the bed. Um, but I sort of I don't know. I you just kind sort of, of just shuff, you've kind of just moved into the middle and got round it, and yeah, it felt like it's been a massive thing. Not really. It's not really a deal breaker. Not really. Me. And in actual fact, like when you're um when the cover is over your feet anyway, it's not like your feet really get cold. No. Um, you know they're not so hanging off that you're like no yeah, exposed I, to no. the monsters <laughs> the monsters the boogeymen <laughs> you know how when you've got a leg out of the bed and you feel oh, you yeah. know, like oh, something's gonna get you <laughs> i do like a leg out of bed actually always got to have a leg out of bed <laughs> air cools you down <laughs> so yeah um it's just um the bed's worked the bed, the bed worked and the bedroom has worked really well what we haven't done though is pushed it back into the day position until this morning yeah so all week we've been um sort of leaving it out and a little bit sort of tight getting around the bottom yeah and we well, thought tight we, around one side isn't it than yeah the other. we thought if we did put it back in the day position that the sheet would sort of come up away from the mattress and it would be a pain to get it back but actually the the sheet holds on to the mattress yeah it's the design the it is. isn't it yeah. yeah and it's just easy just to push it back into the day yeah. so we kind of wish we'd done that um, yeah. from the start really. because it's really easy to push you just literally slide it in and out yeah. it's not our oh, swift i remember you had, you had to, to lift it, it didn't you and, and push it, it in back. yeah but um yeah it's just it's brilliant yeah it really is the, des brilliant. the design of the mattress sort of curves like that mm. and then comes round to the top of the mattress so it holds the the sheet on and even when you turn it over it, it flips round mm. and it still holds the sheet on so it's, it's really uh, it's a really clever design so it's actually very easy to just um to push the bed into day mode mm. and when you do that there is just acres of room in that bedroom to yeah. get changed even for a fat lad like me so um you know yeah it's it really 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 nice really nice indeed the middle bathroom creates a bit of an extension of the bedroom as well so um because the door is a sort of swing door from the toilet to the lounge uh if you push it to the lounge you've got almost an yeah. extension of the bedroom you because have, yeah. you've got that extra space in the middle yeah um which is really great for changing and and whatnot and you've still got a sliding door the bedroom side of the bathroom if you want if you want to shut the actual bathroom off yeah you? to enclose could to completely enclose Close the, the bedroom bed, uh, yeah yeah so um, but we haven't done to be honest it's just so light and nice and comfortable and yeah i don't know i just i, I really i'm going to be so gutted to say goodbye to it um do you think we're going to order one i think we're going to inquire i think we're going <laughs> to get one <laughs> all depends on the <laughs> um the bathroom as well i mean it's literally it feel it feels like you're in like a, like a hotel little hotel or, uh, like a boutique hotel yeah, or something like, like that a little en suite. yeah yeah and the shower is huge to be fair we haven't actually used the shower this week um and that's because when we booked this site we already booked a service pitch um which meant we probably could have used a shower mm. easier but we just we're really close to the toilet blocks um and um 
the pre the pressure in this. I, I was I need to reset the pressure, but I just couldn't be bothered with it in the end because we're so close to the shower block. So yeah. we hadn't actually used the um, the shower in this, but. You but can we, see yeah, how could, massive it is, yeah, how much easy, it. yeah, yeah. And I like the fact it's got that built-in um, holder for your products, so... Um, yeah, like a don't, tray, don't, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you don't see that many in many showers where no. you've got that built-in holder. You don't have to have something separate no. or have them on the floor or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, it's just really well thought out. And the, the, to the, the toilet and bathroom side, yeah, I mean, that. like, so much storage. Like the the cabinet it's got in there. That's you've got like all your medicines, all your bits and bobs. Yeah. You, you can just keep them away. You've got the all the towel your, rail. You've got the, the shelves rail, underneath, shelves, haven't you? You've got a cupboard. You've got them worktop next to the Yeah, sink. loads of worktop you know, space. And then you've got another worktop behind the toilet. Yeah. And it's just there's it's just so, so much, much space. space. You you it's could so well thought out. You could you know you could put so much stuff in this. You know if you were in it mm. for a long period of time. We barely you know, even scratch the surface of mm. filling it, you know what I mean, um, in terms of the bathroom. But, yeah, so comfortable. And the towel rail as well, really handy. Yeah, um, it's heated and it just lovely to dry your towels on. And um, you've obviously got the, the towel rail that pulls down under the vent in the shower in the side. Shower, yeah. So you've got lots of space to dry things. You know, you can hang your wet coats in there as well if you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so everything is just so well thought out. A couple that's of what I found in this mainly. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. A couple of little, um, shall we say, the, the elephant in the room.